Hey, hello scrappers. Another interesting find today. Uh, not really sure what it is. If any of uh, you guys know what it is, uh, please uh, tell us. Let uh, you know. Get in the comments and let us know. It looks like it's got a little coil here. It doesn't really look like aluminum. I'll have to check it out when I get it out of there. But uh, I've got a piece of copper pipe here, and looking at it over here, it looks like it's probably for a drain. And then we've got another piece of copper pipe, and it's got that other little piece of copper that's soldered on. It goes, usually goes to that dryer. Nice thick piece of copper here, going, going in here. So, I thought we'd take it apart. As you can see, here we've got a 75, and then looks like 80 up under here. And so it's numbered around there. You can see it's got holes. It's got a gear here, so I, I don't know if the, that turns it or if there's a mechanism back behind this. But, and then kind of a trough or something there, so. It's meant to keep something cold. A soda can won't fit down in there. So, could have been possibly for bottles, but it'd have to be fine. It's probably kind of small. And then, uh, well, this piece isn't insulated, but that doesn't mean it could have came out of something. I've got some wood here. Got some wood right there, so. It was like in a wooden cabinet. Doesn't look like there's any insulation there, which is kind of strange. Walk in here for a second. Having kind of busy bringing stuff in, as you can see, kind of getting filled up out here. So, bringing it in faster and I can process it, but that's good because that'll keep me busy through the winter. But anyway, I'm going to put the camera up in the tripod and uh, we'll see, uh, and hook it up to the monitor, and then we'll see what, uh, what we can find inside. I'll probably start out by these screws here and Get a couple screws up here in the in the cap. I don't know if I can get all, get to all these to get that out of the way, but uh, kind of tear into it and see what we have, because I am kind of curious. What is it? It's pretty warm and humid out here today. Okay. May have to bring it in a little closer. I don't know if I want to start up at this end. I guess I could. Pull those pull that cap off of there and see what we got. Possibly four screws. three screws. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, Did have a couple subscribers call me out on my last video. Oh, that's not really going to pop off of there. Yeah, a little warm out here today. 
Yesterday was a busy day. All the got up, hauled everything out from my wife's yard sale, and unloaded the trailer from Thursday night. And uh, went out, loaded up again. Well, that doesn't want to, want to come off of there. Anyway, had a couple of my viewers, subscribers call me out on that microwave saying I forgot to get the little motor out that turns the turntable. So I drug it back up here and the box is off and that might make a good bucket for something. I don't know, I never thought about using those for buckets. Lightweight. So I'm going to go ahead and get that little turntable motor off of there. Just two little Phillips screws. Hey, but copper copper, right? I mean, tear it apart, get clean copper. Or if you didn't want to tear it apart, you can always throw them in a bucket and get a better price just, just like that than uh, what you're going to get out of the tin. I'm not getting too far on the one piece at the moment, so uh, I was hoping I could get that off and then maybe that we, we, drum would slide off of there, but uh, I'm going to have to keep working on that one. Did not want to turn. Yeah, that's interesting. Even over here. Even over here at the top we got straight screws and then the other two, or other four, are uh, Phillips. better take note of the time so I can kind of keep an eye on how long this video is getting. Okay, what do we got? Screw down there in the bottom. Yep. And I'm going to be able to get the drill down in there. And that doesn't want to really do anything either. Okay. towel kind of keep me cool I am right almost right across the door from my workshop so I get a little bit of that south wind blowing in yeah. put the flashlight away got a screw right here in the way A nice copper coil there. Uh, possibly seven sixteenths in that. get the uh, 7 sixteenths yeah I didn't bring many tools out here because I wasn't sure what I was getting into so I'll 
to see from starting was uh, shadows. I may have to get the saws all and cut down on this thing or so I can get in there. Yeah. Probably have to do that where I can get into it. May have to just cut this whole corner out right here. Yeah, while well, I'm at it, I might as well cut this corner out too. Cut the whole corner out of there and see what I've got. Yeah, that one's got two screws. This one only had one, but uh, where they're sitting, you can't hardly get in there. Need a probably a really long screwdriver. I don't think I can get in there with the drill. I might give it a shot. Try. Yeah, it starts getting hot like this. I think, why am I doing this? I could be in the house under the AC. But uh, I went down to the dump and picked this load up down there, and uh, man, they had a lot of stuff down there. Yeah, that won't quite fit. Yeah, and we'll probably just strip it out anyway, so I'm going to get the saws all and we'll go that way. Be back in a second. Okay, let's go ahead and cut this out of there and see what we get. Nicely. The old craftsman saws all out of that thing. About 29 years or so. I think I'll get a little WD and squirt on those threads. Yeah, some of you guys, if you got the money, generally some of you guys are scrapping for the extra money and barely getting by, especially right now with the coronavirus escapades going on. But uh, it's a lot cheaper in the long run if you use WD-40 a lot to, uh, to buy a, a gallon can. And sometimes they come with a squirt bottle. Okay, now I can get, probably get in there and get that tore down. Yeah, my plan yesterday was to get my wife's yard sale stuff out, get that trailer unloaded, go get that other load, which was one person that called and I ended up getting them, the person at the end of the cul-de-sac and then the person between them. Got the end of the cul-de-sac, has some copper wire, 
aluminum. First people just had two riding mowers and a refrigerator. And then the third guy he had a refrigerator. So by the time I got done my 16 foot trailer was pretty full. So then my plan was to come home and unload that and load the, load the trailer up to take to the scrapyard today. Well, I think that heat got to me yesterday and I'd come out and work five, ten minutes and be soaked in sweat, so I'd go in and cool off and I'd go back out five, ten minutes and I finally said forget it, I'll just I'll just unload it. Get up early this morning and unload it. So I was outside about seven o'clock. Unloading this morning. I can't complain though. I've my wife's yard sale. I had a stack of tin that I brought in uh, last week, week before. Corrugated tin that's ten foot long, and uh, sold that today for a dollar a sheet. And then uh, sold that aluminum canoe that I brought in. Uh, had that little air compressor I put a it didn't it one didn't have a tank put a new hose on it sold it today I think got five dollars out of it probably worth more things probably an antique vintage at least but uh, I had no use for it five dollars is still more than what it would have brought for scrap what else did I sell out there yeah, I sold a couple of my coin rings. A couple of some plaques that I painted years ago, uh, three, four years ago. I had fun doing them. Took them to several different sales. Nobody was interested in them, hardly so. I guess I had to scratch this thing and see if, what color it is, find out if it is, if it's copper brass or, which it could be as dark as those fins are, I would say it's copper brass more than, yeah it looks kind of yellowish, it's probably tin there. Uh, here's well, magnet's not sticking. I'm not really sure. May have to take it to the grinder. Magnet's not sticking to it anyway, so it's not not ten. Fan back in there behind it. You know what that? It actually looks more like uh, I don't know. Might be copper fins. This piece here looks more brass than anything. Yeah, I'll have to tear into that a little bit more. Hit it with a grinder. Curious what the thing is. I mean, it looks like the fan would draw the air in up at the top, pull it down through that vent through the back, and then the fan would blow it through here. Interesting. So it's got a regular refrigerator type motor on it. I 
but it's got a, a little bit bigger blade than fan blade than what the refrigerators usually have. Probably had to push a lot more air. That piece should be unscrewing, but it doesn't seem to be. So there we go. Let's pop it right off there. Yeah, much larger fan blade. And that's tin, so there we go. Throw it in the microwave. Okay, I'm gonna need the WD-40 again. Yeah, that might be a little. That's right, I hung it. I hung it here on the rail rack of the truck. I'm not sure exactly what I made in the yard sale, but I know my wife's handed me over over two hundred dollars. So so it's quite a bit of different stuff. Yeah, I never did like uh, those, those bits for the drills that are just a plain screwdriver. Those never worked too well for me. They just kind of went all over the place. Well, that screw there I might have to grind off. Yeah, it's not one to turn. Not wanting to try it right up over it. Yeah, I'm just kind of curious what the heck that thing is, but. That's the way to do it too. Get uh, get all the other screws out, and then just turn the turn the piece with the screw, and out she comes. Whew. Yeah, wear that hat just makes you that much hotter. Gonna squirt this down too, and forgot to. Yeah, ratchet wrenches are really nice for this kind of stuff. any other power cords coming out so not sure exactly what would turn what turned that big wheel it might have been driven off of that shaft right there call today I need to get in there and call her back pretty soon but I'm not going after anything today anyway it's too hot I'm going after that one load tomorrow I'll call her a little later and if she's out that way then uh, or somewhere in between depends on how much stuff she's got too she's got a lot of stuff then next weekend. Yeah, this has got a bracket going off the top. And it's got a Phillips. Ah, 
my two Phillips. It's one of those uh, items you just figure it out as you go. Okay, there's the uh, fan motor. It's a little different. Looks a lot like the refrigerator motor, but it's a little, little deeper. A couple of plan screws holding that bracket on. So I toss it aside. I bet there's no no need to tear this any further apart. Uh, go get the. Uh, Ryobi grinder. Yeah, the refrigerator in the shop saying 93. Yeah, that's copper. That's copper. That pretty much looks copper there, too. Makes me wonder how old is this thing? Yeah, it all has an orange look. That's interesting. Well, I don't know. It's interesting. I'll have to cut this dryer this dryer off make sure there's no metal in there to the magnet to it. But I probably want to cut it open again. I have to That's just interesting, interesting, interesting piece. So, hey, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Give it a hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Yeah, if you're not already a subscriber, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. Trying to work my way up to that 1,000 mark. Hey, I'm, well, I'm over the hump. Getting there. Yeah, I'm thinking there's probably a motor on this little wheel right here. Let me uh, get the camera a little closer on it. Yeah, let me uh, unplug the monitor off of that and then... Uh, get it off the tripod and I'll get it right over here where you can see it a lot better see the whole mechanism as you can see got the gear that goes into the wheel there's your gear going into the wheel here I'm not sure what the little gear does I, okay the little gear goes over here to the shaft so so I'm thinking you got a motor that drives this arm, this pin, turns that wheel, which turns that whole thing. So it kind of works probably as a reducer somewhat. A gear like a little gearbox. Why it turns the wheel, I don't know. And why they got the numbers, as you can see down in there, 54, 50, it's 49, 52. 62, 61, 64, 63. No telling. But uh, some kind of maybe some kind of a vending machine. Primitive. But hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And you never know what I'll come up with next. Uh, I got one of those carts that the grocery store here uses when they carry your groceries out. Uh, I'm not sure why they threw that one out, but. Uh, the top basket that kind of folds down there it looks like it's kind of bent sagged in so that could be the problem 
So, anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.